please. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this Zoom meeting of the planning meeting. 2324 slash 12. Apologies for absence. Apologies for absence received from Mark True Love. My best proposal, David, second, uh, Andrew, all in favour. Thank you. 23-24-13, Disclosures of Interest to receive declarations of interest from councillors on items on the agenda. No. no Have we received any written requests? No. no. Minutes of the previous meeting held on Tuesday 23rd of May, which you've all seen. I will so propose. Seconded. Favour. Everybody, yeah? Oh, Except you, uh, was there. you weren't here and you weren't here. Yeah, Two abstain. Two abstentions. We've no confidential items to be discussed, have we? No. We've no members of the public when we were last time. Straight on to 23, 24, 17. Ongoing issues. Any notified planning panels? We haven't had anything. Nothing. Yeah, no, absolutely. No notified appeals. I know um, Philip had just asked me about this cricket club. I know we haven't. Uh, obviously, as soon as we're out, you'll get to know. Um, and you've all seen the sheet. Of the uh, two out of the three, and if we have 23 the orchards have reapplied, so that would be our next month's agenda. I think with that one, Chair, they tried to do it under permitted development, yes, it, and I, it's I, 0.4 I of a metre one. too big, <laughs> um, so they have to apply for full planning. How oh, is that what it The is? permitted development um, is maybe something we need to print off, then we know what it's about. It's yeah. above permitted development, so you have to apply for permission. So it might be worth having... Yeah, that document printing off so we know what the boundaries of permitted development are. And is that what the CLP means at the end? Yeah, it's sort of certificate of lawful something or other. Thank you. <laughs> Which number is that that you want the stuff in the uh, It's the last one, 23. It's the 23 the orchard on the sheet mm. here, Yeah, it's okay. It's the right. last one, yeah. 2 3 G. Yeah. Which is coming next month anyway, so yeah, that might be added to other for next month. Yeah. Right, let's crack on. 23 24 19, mm -hmm. number 1, 23 0 1 5 7 5. 24 Grange Park Drive, Cotton Lane, Ashraf, please. Oh, you got me on, on to that. Yeah. Uh, have a look, look at it. Uh, I think they want to build and de demolish a garage, I think single story, and uh, they want to put a kitchen, single story kitchen and conservative. Uh, I think they also put on the application, I think uh, one of the reasons was, uh, I think they have had an autistic child, I think mm. uh, that was part of it as well. And uh, it packs onto a large garden, you know, I mean, uh, uh, the semi-detached. It's one of the large houses on Grange Park Drive. Yeah, no way it is. And uh, it creates a two-bedroom, I think, and a sensory room for the child, I think, an autistic child that they're planning to do as well. It creates a large kitchen and dining area. I think the next-door neighbour has a two-storey extension as well, yeah. uh, from my understanding. So uh, any problems? Uh, apart from that, you know, I mean, I know ob ob obviously we can't read the objections and that. I think there was out of four, there's two objections, but we don't know the exact reasons for it. But I don't see any problems with it, you know, no. I mean, apart from that. Are you happy to approve it then? That, that's my personal. Myself and Andrew went up and had a look. Have you look at it? Couldn't find any issue no. with it, to be yes. honest. There's a hodgepodge of housing designs yeah. on there. Well, I mean, so yeah. it, it didn't yeah. let you break in from the norm because I don't yeah. think there's one house that's the same. That's correct. Um, and so. there's so many mm. um, yeah. planning, planning applications for that particular area. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Are you proposing this then, yeah? I'm proposing it. Second well, seconded, Andrew. All in favour. Thank you. Number two. 23 slash 0 1287 17 Grange Park Road around the corner. I also had a look at that. I, I gave a feedback earlier on, I think, to Howard and uh, Nicola on this. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, from right. my understanding, uh, it, it's a bungalow, single story bungalow, but in the in that area, uh, there seems to be other bungalows nearby uh, yeah. property as well. So I had a little look at that. I personally went down and uh, visited the site itself. And the proposal, I think they initially made one planning application prior to this yes, and uh, yeah. 
the reason uh, that they, it was objected and refused was on the ground of the oversized and uh, overshadowing as well the nearby property. And I came, you know, I mean, obviously looked at it again. I came to the same conclusion because it's going to be out of character with the next door and the t uh, you know the type of building they're proposing. It's going to be overshadowing and it's going to be out of character for that area. I, mean, I, st I struggle to see much difference with the previous plan. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So Are you recommending refusal? I, I am recommending refusal on this one. On the uh, grounds of? Of overshadowing uh, and oversized development as well and it's out of character with uh, with the streets, eh? yeah, with the, okay. the, this bungalow on. I think it's pretty either much side. what we had last time because oh, we saw it. We, we, we had it, we, yeah, we had we had it, it last year. We had, it yeah. was in October, I yeah. Think, that, to me, the objections are the same. Do a second for that, please. Yeah, I will. <laughs> All in favour? Yeah. Yep. Well done. Well, this is where we get. 23 last 01756 in Vicari, the Avenue. Now I asked Andrew to. Yeah, we went down, had a look. Have a look at these for me. Um, it's significant detached property. They're just wanting to use a bit of the roof space by oh. getting shut of the, the hip. Um, honestly, couldn't see an issue with it. You're proposing? Proposed. I'll second. Okay, yeah. good. Okay, Yes, because it's a big property in it and it mm -hmm. stands on its own, it's fairly... In fact, it's not that often in the is it? Right, number 423-0-1781, Four Bays. Great, so Four Bays, Keithley Road. So this is in between, um, on Keithley Road, between where Bingley Grammar School is and uh, Castlefields Road is. There's um, a bungalow that mm -hmm. you get to via Castlefields. Oh, and right. it's got quite a decent um, garden, so they're just wanting to build a garage with a, a bit of gym space. I couldn't so, see an issue really, uh, because the I, I was worried at first because I thought the access would be on the main road, but it's it's not. You get to it. Well, I think you get to it by Castlebridge. You can't really totally tell because it it's not all on Google Maps, but it looks like that. Are and you approving if, uh, it? If that's what it, I think that's fine. Yes, yeah, it, seemed, second that. it seemed rather large to me. Is this the one? Nine that, metres by five metres for is, in the is, is this the one that previously had uh, an application for a, another bungalow in the garden with access via well, Keithley Road? It, I think. I don't know. It feels very much like so, this would yeah. be a first application yeah, and yeah. then it would. They want to do a change, garage, change, change, they can have a yeah, garage, yeah, but yeah, you know, they don't have honest, anything else. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're just proposed that. Seconded yeah. by Andrew. All in favour? Thanks. Ta, number 523-0-1864-7A Eastwood Crescent. Again, I asked Andrew to have a look at this. Yep, um, just, uh, I was doing the driving. Uh, <laughs> and Andrew was... <coughs> my valet was doing the... Uh, <laughs> no, uh, no, we can't read it. No, we can't <laughs> read it. Um, yeah, we had a look. There seems to be a fair bit of development going on around the Grange Park area at the minute. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, we had a look at the 7A. Um, to be honest, no issue with it, really. No problem. There's a tree at the back... But I presume they will have done their homework uh, in principle. Is it going to overlook the property behind? Not really. Because no. that was what that was yeah. what I had a look at, and yeah. by putting a double story on, because it's because it's already been built in. It's already mm. a house built in the garden, yeah. isn't it? And yes, it is. Yeah. Now it's pushing yeah. back onto yes, the, the property behind it. Has there been any objections on that? Or I was or wondering. I think there might have been. It wasn't when I looked. Oh, okay. But I know that area has got a lot of development and it's got yeah. really nice, <laughs> huge houses. And yeah. you are know, you proposing it, David? Yeah, area. Uh, yeah, propose. Propose that's excellent. Yeah. Do we have a second there? That one's second. Rachel, all in favour? Are you abstaining? I'm abstaining. That's all right. Number 623-01388, land at grid reference, blah-de-blah. -blah. It's right on the edge of the um, 
Oh, I will uh, get much further. No, it's right, on the, <laughs> right on the boundary. Yeah, yeah it, it, it is. Uh, Could we bring it up on there, please? Yeah. This one. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't make out where this was. Yeah. Yeah. Just before yeah. Holton's yeah. Caravan Park, to, uh, right at the bottom of the dish. Right. So you go past um, up to Bailden, drop mm. down as though you're going to Hawksworth, there's that really twisty mm. road. Is that even on. Uh, yes, it? that's in Bingley. Oh, right. yeah. um, <laughs> it's not even in Bailden, even oh, though oh, it's yeah, a BD 17 postcode. Right. Um, and mm. it's some mm. land right at the bottom next to the uh, little beck that runs mm. down. Um, previously, there were a, a caravan in there and um, oh, one of those yeah. old Romany. Caravans that were being done up that been there workshop for just There's uh, an open fronted workshop, but when the yeah. definition of workshop is. Andrew, what do you want to look at? Yeah. Which, which documents have we got? Um, Land what they want to do with it as now, ones. what their proposal is. Proposed. Proposed uh, South. Proposed Plan three. View. Mm. Proposed Plan View. view. Should yeah, try, try that one. Yeah. So when they say workshop, one thing to the roofed Here building with walls and various mm. other things, and it actually looks like a seating area. The What's there now? Oh, that's all it's, got. it's a ramshackle wood, wooden yeah. construction. Now, yeah. isn't it? Wooden stabilizer. Yeah. Yeah. That all it's a significant room. size when you look at it. I've got, got bit big issues with five. it due to access highways, turning vehicles. Obviously, mm -hmm. stables means large vehicles in order mm -hmm. to accommodate horses. Can, can you bring up the site location plan? Because it, looked, yeah, it yeah. looked to me like it was a massive site. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was a massive site. It's, a, it's in the site field. It's a bit small of an acre. Site plan. Site plan there. And the other question is where are the horse is going to graze if this is stable. Site plan. Yeah. Oh. That's not a site plan. No, that's not a site plan. <laughs> well, it's yeah. a elevation, isn't it? Right, okay. So site plan. It's the third one down. Yeah. Third, one, yeah. third one down, Nicola. Site plan. That's yeah. Right. yeah. You just clicked on the wrong one. Sure, or some four. Ah, right, right, yeah. That's it. So when it says BM there, that's the caravan park mm. Mm. over Hudson's caravan park. Uh, so, is it, so is it that one there that's one hundred and thirty five point five nine? Yes. Yeah. 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 So my concern is the access to it. If it's stabling, obviously there are going to be very large vehicles in and out. It's at the bottom of a blind bend. It's going to have to have a lot of hard standing in that particular small area for vehicles to turn round in. I do see mm -hmm. issues with it. So are you... It's hard to tell from... The, to are you... It's very difficult to tell from there. I'm sure yeah. there were some pictures. Yeah, there were some pictures. Site photos. Site photos. Okay. They're just the buildings now, aren't they? Yeah. This is what we've got now, which is sort of like a glorified shed. There you go. Oh, it's upside down. Yeah, yeah, you can't turn it all up, all the other mm. way up because some of them are there upside down then anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so if we don't just turn, stand on our heads. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Yeah. 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 Well, that's what's there now. Yeah, yeah that's what's there now. Well, and that's certainly the certainly best part of 12 metres by 5. Mm. It's not much of a workshop, is it? No, it's no. not a workshop. It's just somebody sat in it, haven't they? Mm. What is it? It's like a wooden. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Change those round. There you go. So, I'd like to go refusal if refusal I may. Refusal on the grounds of, no. of highways, access problems. Well, we went out to look at this and we, some cyclists behind us, we pulled up and they eventually came round the corner and you literally anything coming round the bottom of that really twist yeah. it and it, it, it's all but mm. single track mm. you know, you've really got to breathe in uh, and if it's mm. too large of vehicles uh, and, and literally you just pop out well if you're bringing a large horse box out or a feed wagon in mm. and thinking in hindsight if the road round there is very twisty, very narrow, lots of blind bends. A car will be popping out on a horse. Yeah. Like no yeah. tomorrow. So I think I'd go along with highway safety. Yeah. Um, um, you know, particularly because of the uh, nature of the yeah. road. Yeah. Anything else you want to add to the objection? No. Is there already some access already? 
well, in the, there, you know. The, I mean, there is a, a driveway in, yeah. but you would pull a car in, yeah, but yeah. not a big one. So if you're stopping and you've got a big mm. horse box or a land road, is that what they're planning the trail, to do? Well, if if you're keeping horses on that, as oh, Andrew it? said, oh, right. four and a half acres per horse, so. and that ain't four and a half acres, so that's not one horse. So okay. all your feed, all your bedding, all that's going to have to be transported onto site. And if it rains, the site obviously hasn't got a great mm. deal of hardcore. <laughs> Facilitation, yeah. so you'd have to actually reverse back out onto the road. Yeah, but anything so, with a trailer, it's to me suicidal. So we have a proposal to object it on the grounds that you've got noted for. Do yeah. we have a second Access there? Highway safety. Oh, second. Rachel, all in favour? Yeah. Andrew? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not after all that. <laughs> 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 A value Sorry, number seven. Twenty three slash zero eighteen forty four fifty seven Woodside Drive. What's in life? If you go and have a look at it, you just had a look at it. I did have a look. And I couldn't see anything wrong with it. No. Well it's like a lot of them. It's like all the rest it. of them. Yeah, yeah that's it. Mm -hmm. There's no permanent garage there as it is now. It's just a driveway, so it's not as if it's making the parking any worse than it already is. Cool. Some of the neighbouring properties have done exactly the same. Well, they're yeah. all doing them now. Though, Very yeah. difficult yeah, to turn. Yeah. Looking down. at the plans, it looked like they wanted to sort of extend the driveway, take yeah, get get rid of some of the yeah. front garden, yeah. and extend yeah. the driveway, so they had somewhere to put the cars. Providing anyway. that's permeable. I'll have yeah. to put mine in what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, next on the list. <laughs> next on the list. <laughs> so that, we want to state we want that to be permeable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. any new surface area for parking should be permeable. So I'll propose that. Yeah. Oh, seconded. All in favour? Yeah. Thank you. 23, 24, 20, day to next meeting is Tuesday the 11th of July, which is, I think, is a month. So if we mm. get back to a bit more normal, well, yeah. and it's only because of last time, because yeah. of the late meeting. <laughs> Definitely.